You know, some people have taken me to task for, you know, my moniker is Christian Libertarian Environmentalist Capitalist Lunatic, and that environmentalist part, oh no, you know, my Christian friends. I come back to the question, well, if this is all God's, and it is, what do you think he's thinking when we have a dead zone the size of, the, the size of Rhode Island in the Gulf of Mexico? or when DDT uh, makes eagle's eggs that won't hatch, or, or infertile frogs. If I were God, if this were all my stuff, I wouldn't like that kind of return on investment. Stewardship is all about, it's not mine, it's somebody else's, and do I return it in better shape than I found it? And so I think that there's a real imperative in in our lives and our living, leaving more soil than was here before, more water, more pure air, even more cultural equity, that our lives should leave more fulfillment and happiness and including a more functional ecosystem. I view creation as an object lesson of spiritual truth. And so what I want people to come to the farm and spend time here, and when they drive out the lane, I want them to say, oh, that's what forgiveness looks like. Oh." That's what redemption looks like. Oh, that's what abundance looks like. And so the physical universe is an object lesson of spiritual truth. God says he cares about a sparrow when it falls and numbers the hairs of our head. So certainly, you know, he cares whether the church uses styrofoam or thrift store uh, plates and washes them and there's no trash to take out after the church potluck. Those are things God cares about. And the problem is in the faith community, as soon as you question, what are you, some sort of commie, pinko, greeny, weeny, you know, earth muffin, and we can't even have the conversation. I'm the first to say, I don't have all the answers, but I do believe God cares. And I think he's honored when we wrestle and we struggle with how to please his return on investment as stewards of what he has.